What's up guys, this is Erkin from HDD Recovery Services. Today, I will be catching up on the work that I didn't get to finish yesterday. Yesterday, we had uh, too much things on the go. Uh, raids consisting of six drives came in that had to uh, be processed urgently and uh, today I will be catching up on two cases that I didn't get a chance to finish yesterday. First one will be a four terabyte uh, Western Digital Red that has potentially uh, some heads that are interfering with the platter surface at this point. I'll have to take out the head assembly and inspect it underneath the microscope to understand uh, whether or not there is any platter damage. Uh, having a look at the head condition underneath the microscope will help to reveal a lot about the overall state of the drive and if we see that there's uh, heavy levels of contamination or uh, grinding marks on heads or build up from platter dust be before or after the heads usually that tells us that uh, that surface is dangerous for new heads uh, to be used on. In this situation what I do is I cut those heads physically out of the assembly and I reprogram the drive so that the drive does not uh, think that those platter levels exist. Inside of the 4 terabyte uh, Western Digital Red hard drive there are 4 disks uh, as I recall and 8 heads total. So I'm um, gonna check them individually one by one and if there's more than one we'll have to mark them, figure out which ones they are in the sequence and uh, reprogram the drive so that drive doesn't attempt to read anything with those surfaces. It will definitely come at the expense of some data being missing, but it will allow us to work with the remaining parts of the drive but that may potentially be still okay and still have some information on them. Uh, the information on this drive is critical. It has to be recovered and uh, performing tasks like this in uh, these situations may be the only hope to get some kind of stuff out of the drive even if it's not everything. Uh, the second project that I'm doing is for a local customer who lives just slightly outside of the city and uh, they delivered the drive to me, but it's a 7200.12 uh, Seagate hard drive. The problem with those drives is that um, adaptation of parts is not as simple as it would be on pretty much anything out, out there that comes in. Majority of other drives that we receive uh, simply require a close match for parts. Once the parts are swapped over, um, very little uh, adaptation may have to be performed. On the 7200.11 and 12, that process is a bit more involved and sometimes you can have a really, really close match for the donor hard drive and uh, parts are still getting rejected. The drive doesn't want to work with them. But again, since this is a Seagate drive, heads have to be checked underneath the microscope. Although the sounds that that drive is making, I don't think that it's, it's too late yet. It's clicking, but it almost sounds like it's gonna catch, but it doesn't eventually. So we're gonna try to fix that today uh, by putting a new head assembly in there first of all and performing the imaging on the device uh, to create a backup. Once the image is made, data will be saved from the image onto whatever drive that they provided us with to transfer the information to. If uh, you have any questions, feel free to post them in the comments below. If you need the data recovery service for your hard drive, whatever your situation may be, uh, feel free to also uh, click on the link in the description. It will take you to our site where you can fill out the inquiry and request your service. Now, once you submit that inquiry, we'll follow up with you shortly after, either by email or by a phone call. Uh, so just be ready for that and um, subscribe to this channel, like this video, it will help us out a lot and uh, enjoy the show.
looks like the swap was a success. We got fairly lucky. Um, heads did have contamination on them, but I'm thinking it's just minor head damage that the unit sustained when it fell originally. And uh, right now I'm going into a data extractor and I'm gonna set up an imaging task, which is something that I always do for every single case. Sector by sector copy is a must. So I just got the drive hooked up, turned on. It clicked about 30 seconds or so after the head swap on these drives. It's a fairly normal thing for them to do. An indication that the drive actually gave us proper ID, serial number, firmware, and the capacity. That information is kept on the platter surface. That means those heads that we've inserted were able to read. This drive was most likely formatted for Windows because it's out of the Lenovo or HP computer. Yeah, HP. So we're gonna build um, a map of MFT and we're gonna scan that map. But MFT is reading perfectly. It doesn't skip, it doesn't delay. If you have a problem with your device, feel free to post in the comments below or check out the description box where you can request our services or give us a call even. If you're a computer shop and you want to find somebody who can handle these tasks, also feel free to reach out to us. Maybe there is some business opportunities. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you guys next time.